Have you ever wondered how fiberglass is made? This versatile material has become an integral part of our lives, from cars to surfboards, insulation to aircraft. Fiberglass, also known as glass fiber, is a composite material made from fine strands of glass. Its strength, flexibility, and ability to resist heat and chemicals make it a popular choice in various industries. But how do we go from raw materials to these flexible strands of strength? Let's dive into the fascinating process behind the production of fiberglass. The journey of fiberglass starts with the extraction of raw materials. These are primarily silica sand, sodium carbonate, and limestone. Silica sand is our main ingredient, the heart and soul of fiberglass, if you will. It's the primary source of silicon, which is just a fancy way of saying glass. Sodium carbonate, on the other hand, acts as a flux, lowering the melting point of our sand, making it easier to transform into glass. And finally, we have limestone. This acts as a stabilizer, preventing our freshly made glass from decomposing or reacting with other materials. These ingredients are carefully measured and combined in specific proportions. Once we've got our mix just right, it's off to the furnace. Here they are melted at incredibly high temperatures, fusing together to create molten glass. And there you have it. The first step in our journey is complete. With the raw materials melted, we move on to the next stage, filamentization. Filamentization, a crucial step, transforms molten glass into thin threads. This fascinating process begins when the liquefied glass, warmed to a temperature where it behaves almost like honey, is fed into a machine known as a spinner. The spinner, true to its name, features numerous tiny holes through which the molten glass is extruded. As the glass exits the spinner, it gets drawn out into delicate, gossamer-like filaments. But these aren't your ordinary threads. They are, in fact, solid glass, and they owe their thread-like appearance to the rapid cooling process that follows. Jets of cold air greet the newly formed filaments, cooling and solidifying them almost instantly. This quick change from a high temperature to a cold environment is what gives the glass its filamentous form. Now these glass filaments are ready for the application of the binder. The application of the binder is the next pivotal step in the production of fiberglass. Once filamentization is complete, the glass filaments are gathered and given a coating of binder. This binder, a crucial component, serves as the glue that holds these filaments together, forming a unified structure, but that's not all. The binder also plays a significant role in enhancing the strength and durability of the fiberglass, making it a reliable material for various applications. Following the binder application, the glass filaments then embark on a journey of transformation through a drying and curing process. This is where the magic happens. Moisture and solvents are meticulously removed from the binder, allowing the fiberglass to acquire its desired mechanical properties. This can be achieved in special ovens or by exposing the filaments to controlled temperatures. After drying and curing, the fiberglass is ready for cutting and grating. The final stages of fiberglass production include cutting, grating, finishing, and packaging. Once drying and curing are finished, the fiberglass enters the cutting phase. This is when the long strands of fiberglass are cut into specific lengths. These lengths can vary depending on the requirements of the end product. Precision is key here as the fiberglass must be cut accurately to ensure its effectiveness in its final application. After cutting, we enter the grading phase. Here, the strands of fiberglass are examined and classified according to their diameter and strength. Each grade has its own unique set of characteristics, and it's this grading system that determines the final applications of fiberglass in various industrial sectors. The next step is finishing. This is where the fiberglass can be treated with additional protective coatings. These coatings can enhance specific properties of the fiberglass, such as its resistance to corrosion or its thermal insulation capacity. This process ensures that the fiberglass is ready to withstand the demands of its final application. The last step in the process is packaging. The fiberglass, now cut, graded, and finished, is packaged into rolls or sections. These are then ready for distribution and final use. And there you have it, the intricate process of fiberglass production.